What they're referring to is the uh, double rope rescue in Midtown Manhattan that occurred back in, I think it was May 14th, 91, on a day tour. And I was working in my own company. I had the roof position. And it was a 13-story high-rise building. And so you just go to your assignment. I had the roof. We took the yellow. No, we didn't take the yellow. I'm sorry. We walked up. And we walked up, got up there. There was a bulkhead, giant, like, apartment on the top floor. And uh, walked through that, come upon the fact that they had already completed one rope rescue. And they were getting ready to do a second one. And I thought that I was going to go over. So Patty Brown was the lieutenant at the time. And I said to him, I said, hey, you need any help? He's like, yeah, you got a harness? Now, not everyone had one. Now, I happen to have one. So I was like, yeah. So I said, all right, you know. And then I realized Kevin Shea was going to go over. I didn't know his name yet. But uh, I was like, all right. So I got assigned to lower him. So, which was interesting because the lowering operation had been changed a few years back. The whole thing had been changed because we had a double fatal uh, when the rope snapped. And um, this new rope was considered like, you know, it's like a special place on the rig. You take extra special care of it. And uh, so anyway, uh, Kevin went over the side. There was a guy standing up basically in the window and he got, went there and grabbed him. They lowered him down to the next floor and brought him back in. And uh, the Chiefs were grinning from ear to ear, I'll tell you that, at least that day. It was amazing. It really was. Now, Ray, when you, when you had gotten up you go. there, you go. and you had said, you had gotten up there, and in an interview, you had said that you looked down, because that was the same rope that they used for the first group rescue. Yeah. And when they asked you, you know what to do. Yeah. You said yes. That's correct. And you said that when you were hooking up to the rope, it's just a big carabiner. You're wrapping it three times or however many times four, and then you're just sending the guy over the edge. And right. Shay went over the edge. Yeah. And you said that you looked down and the rope was already frayed. Yeah. From the first rescue. Right? That's correct. So, did you have any doubts that you guys were going to pull this off because? Like you said, you had that incident just prior to you guys doing this double rope rescue. Yeah, well, I mean, I wasn't at the fatal one, uh, but the fire department obviously suffered a, a terrible time. And um, one of the firefighters uh, that was gonna be rescued via the rope at that fire up in Harlem um, was assigned to Ladder 28, which I eventually worked in. Uh, so anyway, uh getting back to it yes but i didn't think there was ever going to be any issue to be honest with you um i had full confidence in what we were doing and you know we did the best we could and it worked and um you know like i said the job celebrated the fact it was an amazing rescue certainly um kevin is like you know, it was crazy. It was just like all over the media and everything. And that was before social media, way before that. So like, if you didn't catch the news at night, you had to wait for the newspaper the next morning to find out what was going on. It was just interesting.